everybody, Beth and Lucas here from Our Liberty House, and today we are gonna show you how to build a garden trellis, like the one you see behind us. Uh, it costs right around $150, depending on lumber costs in your area, and it took, what is it, about an hour to two hours for us two to hours. complete together. Um, we actually built one a uh, year ago about, and Lucas did that one by himself. So you can do it one man. I'm gonna help him out today just to assist with an extra set of hands. All right, so the construction of this is actually really simple. It's just three parts. We have the outer frame, the inner frame, and the cattle panel. Now the outer frame is just straight two by four redwood that we got from the hardware store. And the inner frame is two by twos that were once two by fours that we ripped down the middle to create a bracket to hold this cattle panel in place. And then the cattle panel we got from Tractor Supply. You can get them from any sort of farm and ranch supply store. They usually come about 16 foot in length and then we used an angle grinder to cut these down to size. You can also use bolt cutters if you have them. Um, at a minimum, the tools you're gonna need are a tape measure, uh, screw gun, and then uh, some sort of saw, circular saw or chop saw. All right guys, now that we have all of our prep work done, we've got the trellis laid out and we're gonna dry fit it. Make sure we get all of our pieces in place before we start putting it together and screwing it in. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start installing all of the one by two brackets. And we'll start with the top and then we'll put on the sides and then we'll finish with the bottom and put the last screws in and the trellis will be done. All right, to better explain how we're gonna hold the cattle panel in place of the two by fours, I've got a close up here for you guys. We've got two by two redwood or cedar that we've ripped on the table saw. And if you don't have a table saw or don't wanna deal with it, you can just buy one by twos or two by twos if you find them. The one by twos will hold it just fine. Um, and these are gonna get screwed onto the very edges of your outer frame two by four. And it's gonna leave us a nice gap here that the panel will actually fit inside and it'll hold it in. A couple things to note here is that we're going to have to account for the inch and a half offset on the bottom rail because our side rails run the full length of the panel. So just make sure you guys note that you set this thing back an inch and a half or whatever length your brackets are. All right, also on our top bar, uh, in our design we have a couple inch overhang on each side just for aesthetics. We centered our brackets on the top and we have about a nine and a half inch uh, overhang on each side. One tip or trick for installation here is we're going to cut the legs at 45 degree angles. Our clay soil here is really tough and this will help insulation go a lot easier.
All right, that's a wrap. You can see it's all installed behind us here. Be sure to like and subscribe to the video. Comment below if you build it and uh, feel free to send us pictures. Thanks.